Journey Through Time, William and Hillary's Grand Adventure Through Japan's History and Tourist Spots Good morning, Hillary. I just got back from my trip to Japan. Have you ever been there? Hello William. I have actually. How did you find Japan? It was an amazing experience. I was particularly impressed by the rich history and the beautiful tourist spots. What was your favorite historical place in Japan? I absolutely loved Kyoto. It's like stepping back in time. The traditional tea houses, geishas, and, of course, the stunning temples. How about you? I have to agree with you on Kyoto. The Kinkikuji, or the Golden Pavilion, was breathtaking. Oh, yes. The way the gold shimmers on the water is a sight to behold. Did you also visit Hiroshima? Yes, I did. The Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park was a very moving experience. It's a reminder of the importance of peace. Absolutely. It's important to remember history so that we can learn from it. Did you manage to visit any castles while you were there? I visited the Himeji Castle. It's known as the White Heron Castle because of its brilliant white exterior. It's one of Japan's 12 original castles, which is amazing. That's wonderful. The architecture of the Japanese castles is so unique and tells a lot about Japan's feudal history. Apart from history, did you also explore modern Japan? Yes. Tokyo was buzzing with energy. The mix of ultramodern and traditional spots, like the Meiji Shrine and Tokyo Tower, was fascinating. I love how Japan blends the old with the new. Did you get to try some authentic Japanese cuisine? I did. I tried sushi, ramen, tempura, and even participated in a traditional tea ceremony. The flavors were incredible. How about you? Same here. And I must say, Japanese food in Japan is on a whole different level. The freshness of the ingredients is just unbeatable. Yes, you're absolutely right. This trip was truly an enriching experience. Japan's history, tourist spots, and cuisine have left a lasting impression on me. I feel the same way about my trip. Japan is a country that I think everyone should visit at least once. I couldn't agree more, Hillary. Here's to more travel adventures in the future. Cheers to that, William. Safe travels and take care. Thank you, Hillary. You too. Essential English for Airport Journeys Quick Guide Where is the Check-in Desk? The check-in desk is near the main door. How do I find my gate? Look at the big screen for your flight number and gate. Is there a place to eat? Yes, there is a food court on the second floor. What time is boarding? Boarding starts 30 minutes before the flight. Where is the restroom? The restroom is next to the gift shop. Sheldon, did you bring your passport? Yes. Penny, it's in my bag. Penny, how many bags do we have? We have two bags, Sheldon. Can I buy water here? Yes, you can buy water at the convenience store. What is the flight time? The flight time is three hours. How do I put on the seat belt? You click the two parts together. Where can I find a taxi? Taxis are outside the arrivals area. Do I need to turn off my phone? Yes, during takeoff and landing. Is the flight full? No, there are a few empty seats. Can I see your ticket, please? Sure, here is my ticket. Where can I charge my phone? You can charge it near the waiting area. How do I use the in-flight entertainment? Use the remote in the armrest. Can I get a blanket? Yes, just ask the flight attendant. What is the baggage claim number? It's on your ticket. Where can I smoke? 
You can't smoke in the airport. Where is customs? Customs is after baggage claim. Is we five free? Yes, for one hour. Can I change my seat? Ask the flight attendant for help. Are we there yet? No, 30 more minutes. Where is the emergency exit? Look for the green sign. Can I get a window seat? You have to check at the desk. Sheldon, did you lock the car? Yes. Penny, I did. Penny, is your seat belt on? Yes. Sheldon, it's on. How do I call a flight attendant? Press the button overhead. Where is lost and found? It's near the information desk. Can I bring my pet? You have to check the airline's policy. Thanks for English basics. Talking about the city. Where does Sheldon live? Sheldon lives in the city. Is Penny going downtown today? Yes, Penny is going downtown to shop. What can you see in the city? You can see tall buildings and many cars. What is Sheldon doing downtown? Sheldon is eating at a restaurant downtown. Is it noisy in the city? Yes, it is noisy in the city. Where is Penny now? Penny is in the city park. Does Sheldon like the city? Yes, Sheldon likes the city. Are there many people downtown? Yes, many people are downtown. Where does Penny work? Penny works in the city. Is the museum in the city? Yes, the museum is in the city. How does Sheldon get to work? Sheldon takes the bus to work. Is it fun downtown? Yes, it is fun downtown. Does Penny go to the gym? Yes, Penny goes to the gym in the city. Where is the library? The library is downtown. Does Sheldon have a car? No, Sheldon does not have a car. He lives in the city. Are there any lakes in the city? No, there are no lakes in the city. Where does Penny like to eat? Penny likes to eat downtown. What does Sheldon do on weekends? Sheldon visits museums in the city. Is there a zoo in the city? Yes, there is a zoo in the city. Can you walk downtown? Yes, you can walk downtown. Where is the train station? The train station is in the city. What is near Sheldon's house? A supermarket is near Sheldon's house. Does Penny like parks? Yes, Penny likes parks in the city. Is downtown far? No, downtown is not far. Where can Sheldon buy books? Sheldon can buy books downtown. What is Penny doing on Saturday? Penny is seeing a movie in the city. Are there many trees in the city? No, there are not many trees in the city. What is downtown like at night? Downtown is busy at night. Where can you see a play? You can see a play in the city. Does Sheldon have friends in the city? Yes, Sheldon has friends in the city. Thanks for-